Got it. Um, Bulazama! I better get a metal ape after this. Okay, player one and player two versus player three and player four. Haha! <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Why? Because you suck. Okay, come on. Yes, I know that pod was coming right for me. I don't care to dodge right now, though. Alright, get up, you lazy bum. Alright, she's out. Now time to kill Bluey. I blew myself up. Alright. You got burninated. Okay. Now that's over with. Yeah, I got the metal ape. How do you do have to be so so cute? Give me a break! We've got our safety switches on, and they're going at it for real. They say in a joke. <laughs> are you two okay? Huh? What are you doing here, Marcia? The chief was worried about you. He said you weren't your normal self today. Great, great. Well, it's all perfect timing. It's all over. I see, but how did things turn over or turn so ugly so quickly? That's what I'd like to know, man. What a mess! I was washing my husband's clothes this morning, and I found a note in his coat pocket. There was a phone number on it. I didn't know what it was, so I called it, and a young lady answered. I was certain that my husband was cheating on me. But honey, I told you I just found that note out front this morning. I believe you. You'd never do anything like that. I'm sorry I lost my temper. I'm sure it was only a prank. Really? Who would have planted that thing out there where you'd find it like that? Prank or no prank, I hope you're sorry. We're bruised up because your stupid fight. Harry, please stop. There are children here and you're scaring them. Here, you're right. I'm really sorry. Um, if it's alright, can I see that note you found? Here, we found it in front of our doorstep. Thank you very much. It looks like it was written by a girl. She has cute handwriting. Cute? Let me see. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I'll take this as evidence. Give me that, Marcia. Harry? I, uh, it's nothing. I can't let a helpless girl carry around a heavy load, you know. It's just a piece of paper. It's great everything worked out. Don't they look good together and they live happily ever after? Harry, are you alright? Huh? W what do you mean? Just a second ago you were furious, but now... Furious who, me? I'm made of love. Hey, Jose, you need to lighten up. Married couples have their reasons for things. You gotta give them slack. Got it? Were you scared? Your parents are fine now. Everything's alright. Listen to me when I'm talking. Come on, let's go play over there. Marcia! So you both want to be commanders when you grow up? How about a custom robo game? <clears throat> Sheesh. Hmm? What's wrong? Surprised to see Marcia being nice to kids? I wish you were nice to me, too. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, she probably gets emotional when it comes to brothers and sisters. You see, Marcia's parents passed away a few years ago. It was just her and her big brother. Her brother was an elite member of the police squad. Marcia got along with her brother real well. Her brother took good care of her. But one day, Marcia's brother up and quit the police squad without a word. And then he just disappeared. No one's seen him since. Then... Not only did Marcia lose her parents, but she also lost her older brother, and now she's alone? Yep, that pretty much sums it up. 
I'm so sorry. I feel the same way. For a long time, Marcia has been gifted with a strange power. Because of that, she's always been a quiet type. She used to be a lot happier. And now she's lost her parents and her big brother. Shut out from the world and unable to help or reach out to anyone. She's got a lot better, though. The reason Marcia wants a Class A license is because she wants to join the police squad. You can't join it unless you have a Class A license. Thought we went over this already. She probably wants to track down the, some clues on her brother herself. Did her husband save? Okay, let's head back to the office. Awesome, I got Trisha's number back. What? Hold on, it's the phone. Hello, Chief? Yes, Harry and Jose took care of it. Hurry up and head over to Bogey's Cafe. Marv's there. The one with a reward on his head? If we catch that Marv, we should get a big reward. If the police squad gets there before you, the reward's gone. Now hurry up. Yes, I'll tell them. Can you hold on a second? Harry, Jose, the Chief wants us to go to Bogey's. Seems like Marv's there. That guy with a reward on his head is at Bogey's, huh? What kind of place is Bogey's? Man, our character doesn't really get around much, does he? Just some cafe. Guess Ernest likes the atmosphere or something. Hmm? Just where did Ernest get that kind of information? Hold on, I'll ask. Hello, Chief? Where'd you get that info? I saw him with my own two eyes! Huh? Um, if you're at the scene, then why don't you catch him yourself? Sh Shut up! I had a lot of coffee, my eyeballs were twitching, and I was busy! By the time I realized it was him, it was too late! Crap, I'm starting to mix voices on him. Golly, look at his legs, they're skinny! By his legs, I mean Harry's. Whatever. I, I see. Harry, the chief said that he saw him at bogeys with his own two eyes. Really? And so what was there is doing hanging around the cafe while we were working our butts off? I'll ask. Chief... What are you doing at Bogey's? Aren't you supposed to be working? I like my coffee! Now get over there! He hung up, and he yelled at me for no reason at all. We've been working hard all day, and that good for nothing has been hanging out at the cafe. Let's go to Bogey's and fast. We have to catch that Marv. Okay, once we catch Marv and have the reward, I'll force Ernest to give us a bonus. Da 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 Heroes Home. Almost sounds like a veteran's home or something. And yes, on the shadier side of town. Bogies! Don't pick your nose or you'll get us! Huh? Harry and Marcia, what's going on? Oh, great, not him. Harry, 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 still have the manners of a kindergartner, eh? I seen you out right here for the uh, notorious outlaw Marv. I'm sorry, but you're too late. Dark blue, or more specifically, I, evil, have already captured the rogue. Darn it! Dark blue got the reward. But how did you know that Marv was here? So you want to learn my secret? You have to benefit from my wisdom, perhaps. Okay, I'll tell you. Bogey here officially requested the services of my little mercenary. Dark Blue to the rescue! What? Bogey, why? But you told us you always go to steal hearts when you've got trouble. Well, your boss has been here all day sucking down coffee and... And what? He was sitting in a dark corner all by himself writing poetry and occasionally weeping. How can I rely on you guys when your boss is such a space cadet? Poetry? I'd be worried too. <laughs> Young Ernest is a poet, you didn't know it? Oh, this is too delicious! Mm. Well, aren't you the kid who came in looking for a job with Dark Blue not too long ago? Of course, that's right, your name's Jose. You, you applied at Dark Blue too? <clears throat> hey, I needed a job. You were that desperate, huh? It's a good thing they didn't hire you. Imagine being pushed around by an egotistical toad all day. Plus, you never had, had a chance to work with someone with my amazing skills. Oh, what is this with your ceaseless blathering, Harry? Are you saying you know Jose, too? Wait up! Uh, don't tell me that Steel Hearts hire this amateur! Oh, that is so rich! <laughs> and you're the one wearing skin tight, or he's wearing tights? Shut, shut your face! Jose has tons of talent, someday he'll be an 
excellent commander. At least that's what Linda says. Really? I don't know what gives you that impression, but I look forward to seeing if you're right. Ah, I've got an idea. I got a nice reward for catching that Marv Jump. How about I get you a nice latte or something? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot! When you steal art to drink coffee, you start to wax poetic! I know art critic, but I know I don't like. I know what I don't like, and I don't like poems. Not by any two bit bounty hunters. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I've got a few verses for you right here. Oh, very witty, Harry. Have you ever considered a change of career? Perhaps as a clown! Enough chit chat, we're leaving now. Jose, if you do turn out to be a worthy commander, I will make you an offer. <laughs>